Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week I'm going to be looking at the US Department of Education's guidance on AI integration in education. It was just released last week at the time of the filming of this video. So if you're interested in me breaking down some of the main highlights of this document, then please keep on watching. Okay, so let me just move myself out of the way. So I've dropped the document, the US Department of Education's guidance on AI integration and education into Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And this version of Claude tends to hallucinate a lot less, but I've cross-checked the summary. So we've got the main points here about the purpose and structure, the key framework. So here are the three sections on the key framework, which is mitigating risk, building a strategy for AI integration and maximizing opportunity. And then there are recommendations and important considerations as well as implementation guidance. So I'm going to copy and paste this. And for me, yes, I can read it. It's a great summary. I really appreciate visuals of information and communicating visually. So I'm going to drop this into napkin and then we're going to actually see visually what the highlights of the US Department of Education's guidance is. So I'm going to go on here and press the three dots and then I'm going to go into napkin. OK, so I'm in a new napkin. OK, I'm just going to type in USAI guidance here. And then on the next one, I'm going to copy and paste. So here is a summary from Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And then what I'm going to do is just delete these lines because napkin is going to create a graphic based on the cluster and the groups per line. So I'm just going to delete those lines because I want that to be a graphic. Uh, these are graphic. Actually, I want these to all be together. So I'm going to delete those lines. So you see how I've got the whole graphic for key framework sections, key recommendations. OK, let's make sure the heading is there. I'll just delete these lines and then I can delete that bottom bit. That was just the guidance from Claude. OK, so now let's have a look. So main purpose and structure. Let's just see what this looks like. And so my video last week talked about how Napkin can create these wonderful graphics. And I just got an email this morning saying that there are 50% more designs. So I'm interested to see this. So the purpose and structure, the document provides guidance for safe, ethical and equitable AI integration released just like this week and organized into three main sections. And so let's have a look. Oh, equitable integration, safe integration and ethical. OK. Let's just keep scrolling down at the different, let's generate some more at the different graphics. We can actually uh, distill this information and understand this information a little bit better. Okay, I think it's still thinking. Oh, here's some more graphics here. Here we go. Oh, this is cute. Purpose, structure, release date. And of course, we can edit any of the sections that this creates. Oh, look at this one. That's new. I think this one's new as well. This cogwheel is new. That's pretty good. OK, so I'm going to come out of there. I'm not going to save any of them. I think what I really want is a graphic on the key framework sections. So it's ABC. It's mitigating risk, building a strategy and then maximizing opportunity. So let's have a look at those. So I'm just going to press that and then let's have a look at those three main framework sections, which I think is going to be useful. And then what I'll do is later I'll download this and I'll share it on social media. So here we go. This is really nice. Mitigating risk, building a strategy, maximizing. Oops, let's go back there. Maximizing opportunity. I want a little more detail, though. So even though this is a nice graphic, this one gives a little more detail. So they're the three framework sections. Here we go. So I'm going to keep going, having a look and decide which one is going to give me enough information for me to actually oh this one I think because it says maximizing opportunity mitigating risk and building a strategy so I'm going to click on that and then probably just go with this first one and this kind of let me just cross check the information so maximizing opportunity it's about guiding the effective use covers AI literacy policy and details great mitigating risk was a so focus on safeguarding yep privacy, security, and then building a strategy. I love this one. So I'm going to just download this and then I'll share it on social media so that we know that this is these are the three core elements from the US Department of Education. 
Okay, so down here we've got some key recommendations as well. So let's just distill these into a graphic as well so that we're able to understand this a little bit better. So the key recommendations, oh, this is new. So looking like a DNA double helix here. This is new as well. I think I like this one actually because it gives all the detail of the guidance. And then let's go for similar colors and style to the one above. Okay, I've just clicked uh, too quickly. Here we go, I'm gonna click this one. I accidentally clicked the back button. Okay, I like this one. So I'm gonna download that one. And what about implementation guidance? Okay, this is the last one that I'm gonna look at. So take measured strategic approach, build on existing educational frameworks, involve all stakeholders. Uh, and I suggest actually using design thinking. So we're actually looking at the empathize stage, regular evaluation and adjustments, prioritize student safety. Okay, so implementation guidance. What's a great graphic? And I'll probably try to use the similar graphics so that it's a little bit more consistent. So I think it's, uh, let me see, let me keep scrolling. Is it, is it kind of this one? No. Oh, these are new, these building blocks. Wow, I kind of like the, let, let me scroll down so you can actually see them. These are Lego blocks, right? Look at the Lego blocks, I love that. But I don't necessarily want the implementation guidance to be hierarchical, and this suggests that it's hierarchical. So let's not look at a hierarchical, maybe the concentric circles is a little bit better. So let's do that one. And then we're gonna use this color. Okay, so here is the guidance for AI implementation from the US Education Department. And let's just download that one too. Okay, wow. Okay, so, you know, more and more institutions and regulatory bodies are releasing AI guidance for education. And I'm so glad to see this because we do need guidance and we do need suggestions and we do need frameworks and protocols to follow. I still recommend that schools themselves create an evolving unified AI policy based on their context and also based on the stakeholders and, and all the members of the school community so that the school has ownership and an input into the evolving unified AI policy. And it becomes a live document that can evolve and it can improve and it can change over time based on the rapidly growing AI technology that is happening at the moment. So thank you so much for joining me this week. Really exciting to see lots of different institutions releasing AI guidance for education. This one from the US Department of Education is really practical. And I'm gonna share all of these graphics on LinkedIn. Thank you once again, and I hope to see you next time.